reaction. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, potato! <laughs> what? Hey, welcome to another day of Potato Princess. I've been on a long hiatus. Well, not super long, but two months. This is pretty long on YouTube. I've been working a lot, so that's why I've been making them. Um, now I have a bit more time off, so I can get back at it. And she's tickling me with her tail. So today, I'm gonna make tandoori cauliflower. It's something that my mom's been making lately, and it's super good. And um, we make it a little bit runnier with like a low-fat version, so we use like um, a lighter coconut milk instead of like canned coconut milk. Um, and then that cuts down some of the calories from fat, which is quite nice because we like high carb, low fat for the win. I've got my basmati rice on because that's where we're going to put it over is brown basmati rice. Can you help? Yeah. Brains. Brains. I thought I'd get my cauliflower soaking beforehand so it can absorb some of the flavors. So, and then for your tandoori spice mix, um, I don't have a, this is actually from my mom, she made it for me. And she just used up like a random one on Google, like if you Google tandoori uh, cauliflower, you'll get like different spice blends. This one's more of like a cloves aromatic one. This was a huge head of cauliflower. I'm gonna have to boost up my liquid to cover this a bit more because this is a lot of cauliflower. See? She's not even looking at us. Let's do three cups of this coconut beverage to start. We could always add more if we're thinking you know, the spices are too strong or we need more to coat um, our cauliflower. A tablespoon of our tandoori spice mix. Thanks, Mom. A good teaspoon of minced garlic. I'm lazy and just use the stuff that's pre-done. Do like a little squeezy. Woo! So whoopsie. And uh, sweet. And I think if there's sugar in there, it'll caramelize nicely on the cauliflower. Let's just measure this properly instead of using a fucking lid. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna put in two heaping tablespoons of sugar. Okay, so let's do a bit of salt. This I just like to guess. So that's like less than half a teaspoon. Okay, and then a bit of pepper. My videos are far from perfect, but that's kind of cool because if you're waiting your whole life to do everything perfect, you're not going to do it. Test. Oh my god, that's good. Holy shit. Yeah, I think we can go with a little bit more of this spice mix. Uh, so I'm going to do about the same of salt again. Um, and I'm going to put a bit more sugar in again. And just toss her in there. Let's put some red chili flakes in there. Do this to taste. So I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit in there. That's probably like a quarter teaspoon. That's plenty. So let's get our cauliflower in. Put it at 400 because I don't feel like waiting a long time. And I find my oven a little cool. So if your oven's pretty hot, you could probably do it at 375. So I'm going to spoon this mixture kind of all over just so they all get coated. I'll probably have an outfit change because I'm going to do some push ups and some squats. Because why not while your dinner's cooking, right? It's all done. I'm so excited. I told you I would change. Uh, I did some push ups. Uh, so I did some push-ups and some squats while this was cooking and some random exercises. Ah, oh, I didn't do my abs. Darn. Brown basmati rice is done. I did the tandoori cauliflower in the oven at 400 degrees for 45 minutes. And it's perfect. So, but you're, that's the thing, my oven's a little cooler. So if you have a hotter oven, maybe like 375 for 45 minutes, or you could do 400 and maybe get that done in 35 to 40. Ta-da! It looks really, really, really good. And I've just stuck a fork in it to test it. It's perfect. Can you hear the shower going? He 
showering. Gotta be clean for dinner, it's my rule. <laughs> this is a tip I have, because I found myself doing this for years and I was so tired of it. I would be like, oh, not too many, not too much for dinner, and I would have less than this. I'm gonna have more than this, by the way, this is just first round. I would have less than this, and then I would fill it up with a bunch of greens, which is good, and that's, you know, no problem. But cutting back the carbs, big problem, because then I was always binging, or not binging, but um, I was filling it up with other things. So later in the evening, I'm like, well, I had my dinner, so, and I'm hungry, and I don't want to eat more dinner, because it's bad, right? And then I would end up eating chocolate, because I was just so freaking hungry. But then I'm eating a bunch of calories for fat, and I feel like shit, where fill up on your rice, your whole grains, your veggies, and eat lots of it, you know? And you'll feel amazing. So I've been really trying to do that lately, just really filling up on like the whole carbohydrates and then having veggies and fruits and stuff on the side. And I wanna thank Legit Nutrition Hawaii, because like she's really hammering that home and she's getting me so inspired and I'm feeling a lot better. Having I'm just having less like flour tortillas and um, just more whole foods. I'm eating a lot of potatoes at lunch and that sort of thing. So, and I'm feeling a lot better. Thank you, Lily. Mmm, that's really good. So, hey, can you look at the camera? Thanks for watching. Bye.